Okay, everybody, um, I'm back with part three of your altar thing. Um, as you can see, I finished up what I wanted it to look like. I'm very proud, happy with it. Um, it's still a little wet, but not too bad. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm, how to um, fix your mistake if, you know, you were like me and put your hole at the bottom anyway. So, what you're going to do, okay, I'm just going to set this up like right there. Uh, you're in. Ah! Fell. Cool. I think I messed up. Um, you're going to take just ribbon. It can be, you know, two inches, one inch thick. This is actually purple, which, since my purple didn't work on my um, thing, I'm okay with. You're just going to, like, double it over about, I don't know, that long. Okay. And cut it. Might help if I had scissors near me. One second. Okay. So, I'm just going to take it. Cut it. Right. Okay. And then, this really isn't all that dry. Uh, have you go down here? Okay, so all I'm doing now is taking hot glue, kids, if um, you're watching, have your, don't do this without parent permission, and definitely have their supervision. Okay, so you just do a dab of hot glue, and you put your ribbon down, kind of hold it down. No, I can't really see it, can you? There we go. And just hold it down as it dries, okay? And then you're gonna double it up, like, take it, fold it over, and do the same thing with that piece, okay? Do a big old glob, fold the ribbon down. Not hard, very simple. Okay, immediately unplug your glue gun. Especially mine, who seems to have glue spilling issues. Okay. So, just safety, as soon as you're done, unplug. Okay? So, that way, you have a hanging ribbon on your thing. If you're going to use it as an altar tile, you don't really need to do this, but if you're using it just to make your altar pretty, then there you go. All done. I know that wasn't very long at all, but hey, had to finish up for you guys. So, merry part and blessed be.